In this introduction of the Genesis system, I will start with which are the Genesis systems, the constellations that we have today. I will talk about a little bit about the orbits that we have, the signals, receivers, the, pos the different positioning techniques that we have in the market today, depending on the target performances that we want. And I will explain a little bit about the performance part. What is the game, the real game of the Genesis? The game is this. The game is that we have some satellites that are orbiting the Earth. These satellites are transmitting signals, things that they have inside a very an atomic clock, very precise, that are able to synchronize these signals. These signals are being transmitted to a, a user, receiver, that is on Earth, on space, on uh, on air, on, uh, in, on not under the water, but over the water, uh, wherever he was, this receiver received these signals. And with these signals, the receiver is able to get a position, a navigation in a space and time. This is really the game of the Genesis, okay? To get a position and to get a navigation, okay? Then usually when we are talking about Genesis, people think about Genesis, okay, I will have an, a position and a navigation. And for this, we have a lot of different applications today that in, and even though there are a lot of different applications that don't, not, were not even invented yet okay but i mean the traditional applications are the transportation no we are trying to transport to have a position for uh, aviation drones road uh, maritime maritime space farming agriculture mapping surveying mining animals tracking defense and security robotics cell phones devices i mean we want to track with position everything in life and thanks to the GNSS we can have this as an absolute positioning we are able to to give longitude latitude and altitude uh, of a single point okay and then but this is not the only uh, goal of the Navi of the GNSS one of the main goals that is taking more and more importance and relevance in the future and also in the past for sure but in the future are what we call the timings and synchronization applications with the GNSS we are not able to get that position, also a time, a very precise time. And there are a lot of different applications on our daily lives. We don't even uh, realize that they are here. For, for example, electrical power grids, banking transaction, stock transaction, communication system, 5, 5G, even they, have a, they need a synchronization based on GNSS, very precise. Then there are a lot of this uh, of this kind of uh, applications that are even more vulnerable than the positioning ones and they are having more and more importance in the future. 